This is a Porsche GT2 RS Club Sport 25 Manti Edition. It's one of our longtime friend and client's cars. He sent it over to us to see what we can do to it. So if you've done your research, you'll know that the Club Sport 25 Manti Edition is very, very rare. Only 30 of them were ever built. You'd think 25, but that was just the year of their 25th anniversary. But they built 30 of these. I think maybe 12 of them are in the States. I could be wrong, but I, I think so. We can research that and put that right over here. We touched a little bit of a lot of things on this car. Manti touched everything. So compared to the standard Club Sport, Manti did all body work, suspension, wheels, tires. They didn't touch the engine, but they spend a lot of time on aero, aero and suspension. So we're gonna dive into what we did and why. And we kind of took what we've learned at Pikes Peak with the Club Sport with Donahue's efforts and applied it here. The exhaust system saved about 14 pounds. We went with a larger three and a half inch titanium system, full hand built with our 3D printed X section. Very similar to what we've always run at Pikes Peak. Uh, we just have to reconfigure the tips a little bit for this, this lower apron with the bigger diffuser. What we learned about these cars racing at Pikes Peak, uh, it, it's funky up there because thin air, a lot of hairpin corners, so you don't really have a smooth track where transition is good. We, we learned that we needed a, a little bit better boost response. We needed more horsepower and we needed to carry a little bit more top end, extend the shift points out just a little bit and rev the car out a little bit more. So what we developed, this was in 2019, we kind of developed this entire package and done a few of these to different club sports and then adopted some of that to some of the weekend warrior track weapons also. But by changing the turbocharger, the, the relationship between the compressor and the turbine side a little bit, and our big intake manifold was just 3D printed aluminum, along with air inlets that are improved and a really free flowing exhaust, we were able to actually get rid of a lot of turbo lag. So it enabled us to, when you go on throttle, your, that delay, it, it, it starts to sharpen that up more and more and more. So you want that responsiveness. And that's what we were able to find with this package. Not only that, but we also found another 130 horsepower to the tires. So typically on the club sports, we always mess with aero also. Um, there's another thing that they kind of have an errant issue with is get a lot of understeer, mid corner out push. Um, so on, on Sunny and Sunny Point 2, we always made the track wider in the front and we mess with the front suspension to, to give it a little bit more front bite. Manti already did that. They already did the aero, they did the center radiator, which we've done. Um, so we didn't have to touch anything aero wise. We didn't have to touch anything with the wheel and tire package. We just ended up having the opportunity to just tweak the suspension a little bit. And it was set up quite stiff from, from Manti, arguably so, because you have Spa, Nürburgring, a lot of smooth tracks that are high speed that this car was designed for. So the tracks that we're gonna be at are a little bit more bumpy. Uh, the KWs do a great job. So we just tweak those a little bit, mess with the high speed and low speed compression and rebound. And then we soften the spring rates up. Let's keep the same sway bars in there, um, but not a whole lot, you know, different radius arms so we can get a little more caster, but Outside of that, it's quite set up from Manti as is. It's just tailoring it to the customer and the tracks are just the minor tweaks that we've done. So really all we did in the inside is, is have uh, a passenger seat installed by Recaro, saw belt, six points, and then it has our slider and mount base kit in here that, that, uh, that we've been selling a lot of lately. That's because he, you know, if you want a coach, you want somebody else to go in the car with you, um, now we're all set up for it. Jared's gonna have to confirm, but if I remember correctly, I thought it was around 618 or 622 to the tires stock. And after the entire package is done and, and Mitch and the team at M Engineering tweaking on the tune, I think we made it to a 788 to the ground. Don't quote me, but Jared's gonna have to confirm. Now that we're finally finished with the car, it's going on a trailer right now, heading off to Scottsdale, which I'm gonna fly over there, join the car. There's a cool Porsche Carson Coffee 
up the hill. We've done this with a few years with some friends out there. So just go have some fun and enjoy the Porsche community out there. You know the drill, like and subscribe. We'll see you later.